Hi, in this session we are going to solve a problem based on a pair of linear equations and two variables. By linear equations, we mean the first degree equations. These equations can be represented by straight lines. Friends, we know that when we have linear equations in two variables, we need to have two such equations to solve and to find out the values of each of the variables. In this video, we are going to solve a problem based on a pair of linear equations and two variables with the help of graphical representation. Let us begin and read the problem. The problem says, solve the linear equations 2x plus 2y is equal to minus 2 and x minus 2y is equal to minus 4 by graphical representation. Let us understand the problem. We are given two linear equations and we have to solve these with the help of graphical representation. By graphical representation, we mean that we have to plot the lines and we have to find out the solution. Now, to solve linear equations by the graphical representation, we need to first find out three points on each line representing the linear equations. Secondly, we need to plot the points on the graph paper and draw two straight lines. And thirdly, we have to observe the line so drawn and find out the solution. So, let us begin with the first equation. The first equation is 2x plus 2y is equal to minus 2. Observe the equation. We can see that all the terms of the equation have 2 in common. So, let us first divide the whole equation by 2 to simplify the equation further. Remember, we can even work without simplification. But simplification is just for our ease. So, dividing the whole equation by 2, we get 2x upon 2 plus 2y upon 2 is equal to minus 2 upon 2. So, when 2 in the denominator and 2 in the numerator gets cancelled, we get x plus y is equal to minus 1. So let's take this equation and find out three points so that we can plot the line. For that, we have to assume three different values for one of the coordinates and find out the corresponding values of the other variable. So let us first assume the value of x to be 0. On substituting this value of x in the equation x plus y is equal to minus 1, we get 0 plus y is equal to minus 1. Therefore, y is equal to minus 1. Let us note down this. For the equation x plus y is equal to minus 1, when x is 0, the value of y is minus 1. Now let us find out the second point. Let us assume x is equal to 1 and substitute the value of x in the equation. We get 1 plus y is equal to minus 1. On taking 1 on the right hand side, we get y is equal to minus 1 minus 1 which is equal to minus 2. Let us note down this point 2. So when x is equal to 1, value of y is equal to minus 2. Now the third point. Let us assume x is equal to 2. On substituting the value of x in the equation, we get 2 plus y is equal to minus 1. So, on taking 2 on the right hand side, we get y is equal to minus 1 minus 2 which is equal to minus 3. Let us note down this point 2. So, when x is equal to 2, y is equal to minus 3. Observe in the table that the values of x increases by 1 and the values of y decreases by 1. Now, taking the second equation, x minus 2y is equal to minus 4. Let us assume the value of x to be 0 and substitute this value in the equation. So, we get 0 minus 2y is equal to minus 4. That is, minus 2y is equal to minus 4. Now, taking the coefficients minus 2 of y from the left hand side to the right hand side, we get y is equal to minus 4 upon minus 2, which is equal to 
2. Let us note down this in the table. So, for the equation x minus 2y is equal to minus 4, when x is equal to 0, the value of y is equal to 2. Let us try to find out the second point. So, let us assume x is equal to 1 and substitute the value of x in the equation. We get 1 minus 2y is equal to minus 4. Now, taking 1 on the right hand side, we get minus 2y is equal to minus 4 minus 1, which is equal to minus 5. Now, taking the coefficient of y that is minus 2 on the right hand side, we get y is equal to minus 5 upon minus 2, which is equal to 5 upon 2. Observe here that the value of y is in fractions. Now, we are not going to take this point only because it will be difficult for us to plot this point on the graph paper. So we are not going to consider this point and let's assume another value for x. Let us say x is equal to 2. On substituting this value in the equation, we get 2 minus 2y is equal to minus 4. Therefore, taking 2 on the right hand side, we get minus 2y is equal to minus 4 minus 2 that is equal to minus 6. Now taking the coefficient of y that is minus 2 on the right hand side we get y is equal to minus 6 upon minus 2 which is equal to 3. Let us note down this point. So when x is equal to 2 y is equal to 3. Now observe the pattern here for the values of x. When x is 0 when x is equal to 2, we get y as a whole number. But when x is equal to 1, we get y as a fraction. So, that means that we don't have to take the value of x as odd numbers. Let us take another even number for x. Let us assume x is equal to 4. On substituting this value in the equation, we get 4 minus 2y is equal to minus 4. Therefore, Taking 4 on the right hand side, we get minus 2y is equal to minus 4 minus 4 which is equal to minus 8. So, y is equal to minus 8 upon minus 2. We have taken minus 2, the coefficient of y on the right hand side which is equal to 4. Let us note down this point too. So, if x is equal to 4, the value of y also is 4. So, let us now plot three points for the equation x plus y is equal to minus 1. The first point is x is equal to 0 and y is equal to minus 1. The point comes over here. The second point is x is equal to 1 and y is equal to minus 2. This is the point. Third point is x is equal to 2 and y is equal to minus 3. This is the point. So, now let us join these three points and draw a straight line. This is the line for the equation x plus y is equal to minus 1. Now, for the equation x minus 2y is equal to minus 4. When x is equal to 0, y is equal to 2. So, this is the point. x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. This is the point. x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 4 this is the point. So, let us join these three collinear points and draw a straight line. This line represents the linear equation x minus 2y is equal to minus 4. Our third step is to observe the lines and find out the solution. So, here we see that the lines drawn are intersecting lines and they intersect at a point minus 2, 1. That is, they intersect at a point and the lines drawn here for the equation x plus y is equal to minus 1 and x minus 2y is equal to minus 4 intersects each other at the point x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to 1. So, the solution of these two equations is the intersecting point where the value of x is equal to minus 2 and value of y is equal to 1.